Hi everyone, this is Maverick Pa, the Chemistry Guru. Now in this video, we want to go through the suggested solution for 2019 A-Levels H2 Chemistry Paper 1, Question 2. Alright, let's take a look at this question. Electrons and protons, subatomic particles, were fired with equal velocity into an electric field. So we have a beam of subatomic particles, which will include electrons and protons, through this electric field. And we notice on top, the electrode it is positively charged and at the bottom the electrode it is negatively charged so which row describes the behavior of the electrons and protons and we are given four options one is describing where the electrons will be deflected towards where the protons will be deflected towards and the relative amount of deflection or the magnitude of deflection now this question actually it is very very simple because we just need to make use of two very simple ideas. The first one, it is the direction of the deflection. If the species is negatively charged, then it will be deflected towards the positive electrode because unlike charges will attract each other, light charges will repel each other. And if it is positively charged, then it will be deflected towards the negative electrode. So we can very easily deduce because electrons are negatively charged, they will be deflected towards the positive plate. So Based on elimination, we look at option A, which is deflection towards the negative plane. We can eliminate this guy. B, similarly, we can also eliminate this option. So we're only left with options C and D, deflection towards the positive plane. Now, of course, if I look at protons, protons are positively charged. They will be deflected towards the negative plane. And if I run through the options, options C and D will have to be the answer. So this is very, very simple. Now, the next Thing that we have to look at it is the extent of deflection or the angle of deflection in this case the question phrased this as relative amount of deflection then what we need to make use of is this very simple expression the angle of deflection or the extent of deflection it is related to charge to mass ratio the idea actually it is pretty simple the bigger the charge the greater the attraction between the particle and the electrode so therefore the deflection will be greater and if the smaller the mass of the particle, then it will require a smaller force to deflect the particle because it is lighter, it is easier to be deflected. So we can just make use of this very simple expression. Angle of deflection is directly related to charge to mass ratio for us to deduce comparing electrons and protons, which one will be deflected to a greater extent. Now, I think it is also good to keep in mind this expression, it is also useful for calculation if you have two charged particles and they are deflected in an electric field, if we know the charge and the mass of these two charged particles, we can actually calculate the angle of deflection or we can compare the extent of deflection of these two charged particles. Of course, in this case, we don't really need that. If I compare electrons versus protons, electrons, it is much, much lighter. Protons, it is much heavier. So we would expect the electrons will be deflected more than the protons because in terms of Q, electrons, it is a negative one charge. Proton, it is a positive one charge. The magnitude of the charge, it is the same. It is just the sign is opposite. So electrons and protons both have uh, one charge in terms of magnitude. So the Q in this case will be the same. If I compare mass, electrons, it is much lighter. So electrons will have a smaller mass. And based on this expression, you will have a bigger charge to mass ratio for electrons. So therefore, you have a greater deflection in the electric field. So if I compare options C and D, electrons deflected more than protons versus protons deflected more than electrons, obviously C will be the answer for this question. So this question is very, very simple. It makes use of a very simple idea. And I think we can do this under 10 or 15 seconds. So the answer to this question two will be option C. All right, so that was the discussion involving this very simple exercise for question two. So if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.